In the distant past, our planet was home to some fearsome and gigantic creatures. For example, dinosaurs. Or the megalodon, the largest shark that has ever existed. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, megalodon became extinct a long time ago. Hello, everyone. By the way, what would have happened if they had survived to the present day? Welcome to our channel. If you are interested in finding the answer to this question, why don't you join us? Then, let's begin. What we know about megalodons. For starters, let's briefly review what we know about the megalodon in today's science. Now, megalodon was a relative of the living great white sharks. It is possible that the great white shark is a smaller descendant of megalodon. Megalodon was found almost everywhere on Earth except the polar regions. It is well known that bones have been found in Australia, New Zealand, Japan, India, Bangladesh, Cuba, England, the United States, California, Chile, and in Central and Eastern Europe, including present-day Czech Republic, Austria, Hungary, and Poland. It is in Europe that the oldest documented megalodon tooth was found. In the Middle Ages, when there was no knowledge of fossils at all, it would naturally be hard to imagine that what was land used to be sea millions of years ago. Therefore, no one imagined that the strange tooth-shaped stones belonged to fish. These stones were called glossopetra, or in other words, tongues made of stone, and were thought to be the petrified tongues of imaginary monsters such as dragons and trolls. It should also be noted that the geography of the Earth at the time of the megalodon was similar to that of today, but with some differences. Europe, in particular, was an island chain, similar to today's Arctic archipelago. There is no question, therefore, that megalodon fossils have been found in countries that do not have coastlines today. Apparently, megalodon preferred shallow waters close to shore, warm lagoons, and coastal zones. They did, however, sometimes swim out to sea. Although they were brutal and ruthless predators, preying on fish, dolphins, and cetaceans, they also targeted much larger animals. Megalodonts were able to strike with their heavy, hulking bodies and sink their teeth deep into the chests and backs of their preys. Yes, it is true that the chest and back of cetaceans were the most difficult to attack, but with the teeth of the megalodon, it did not matter if they were protected by a skeleton. This would make sense, considering that megalodon had two-meter-long jaws and five rows of teeth. 276 in all. Megalodon is the largest fish known to man in the history of the Earth. It could reach a length of 15 meters or more and weighed between 45 and 50 tons, according to various calculations. However, megalodonts are not the largest of all marine animals. This is because today's blue whales are twice as large. Dangerous Oceans Megalodon, in reality, like many other species, became extinct due to changing natural conditions. The period in which Megalodon thrived was long enough. It flourished for about 20 million years. The seas at that time were full of slow-moving, very primitive mammals, and at the same time, there were no large odontoceti, such as today's killer whales. About 3.5 million years ago, when these odontoceti appeared in large numbers, megalodon lost the competition for food and disappeared from the evolutionary stage. But what if the change had not occurred? Imagine for a moment what would have happened if the killer whales had not ousted the monster sharks from their ecological status as the super predators of the sea. It is possible that, even if both could have coexisted, the odontoceti could have never showed up in the first place. How would the creatures have changed? First, the ocean would have become a much more dangerous place. As we have already mentioned, megalodonts were everywhere in the tropics and temperate zones. Basically, they lived in large oceans, but sometimes swam into relatively small waters. Contrary to the image that has already been created, sharks do not specifically target and attack humans. In fact, 
there are basically no animals that specifically prey on humans. The reason they attack humans is because they mistake us for the various fish and marine mammals that they use as food. Sharks are also curious animals and sometimes try unknown things out of pure desire for knowledge. However, for the person whose jaws it was caught in, it would not be a light story. In either case, the idea of swimming in the ocean would have been a risky one. Unlike the sharks that live here, the megalodon was numerous enough, more aggressive, and larger than the sharks. Yes, of course, as time went on, various megalodon repellents and other protective measures must have been invented, but only in the last couple of hundred years. Besides, megalodon could have struck fishing boats and even relatively large vessels. They would have been extremely dangerous, having learned the joys of physical collisions. Imagine what would happen if a 40-ton behemoth slammed into the hull of a small one-person boat at great speed. Would this have caused people to refrain from fishing and transporting goods by sea? I don't think so. After all, this would not be the first time we confront dangerous animals. Surely, humans would have quickly learned how to confront megalodons. And surely, for the coastal population, megalodons would not be a threat but on the contrary, would have become useful and appreciated prey. Megalodon's meat would not have been a bad preserve for the winter. Its skin could have been used to make clothing and tents, and its bones could have been used to make weapons, ornaments, and cooking utensils. As time went on, humans may have developed it into the megalodoning and related processing industry, like the modern whaling and processing industry. Then it might end up being the same as the real world now, Megalodon would become extinct. They would suffer the same fate as the aurochs and the Hydrodomalus higas. At best, they could be on the endangered wildlife red list. But you don't have to be sad. In the days before humans became involved, megalodonts could have a major impact on marine ecosystems. At the very least, there should have been fewer marine animals, such as dolphins and other pinnipedia, like sea lions, seals, and whales, than there are today. These predators could not have survived the competition for survival, and herbivorous creatures would only have been preyed upon by megalodonts. Finally, it is worth mentioning that there is an opinion in unidentified zoology that the megalodon is still alive. In 2013, the Discovery Channel aired a fake documentary film on this subject. It was clear that this was a program for entertainment purposes, and the producers themselves did not deny this, as they stated in the disclaimer at the beginning of the film. And yet, many people believed that Megalodon was still alive. But even before this program, there were regular reports of Megalodon encounters. Researchers have been skeptical of those reports. There is no credible evidence for the presence of Megalodon during the Holocene, the current geologic epoch, and there are no photographs or videos that clearly identify it as megalodon. It is highly unlikely that such a huge predator could have been overlooked for so long by discerning researchers. But maybe they were just unlucky. Who knows? Now, this is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this excursion into the world of the imagination. But the world of your imagination is basically the same as the real world we live in now. Please subscribe to our channel. Be sure to turn on the bell for update notifications so you don't miss any interesting videos. And please like us and share our videos with your friends on social networking sites. We look forward to your feedback in the comments section. We'll be gone for a little while. Then we'll be back with new videos and new interesting stories. Till next time, goodbye everyone.